Welcome to my crystal shop inside the lava lamp. Today, I have a crystal scoop unboxing from a TikTok live stream. Make sure to follow us on TikTok at inside the lava lamp and on Instagram and stay tuned till the end of the video to hear about a free giveaway. So if you've never heard of these crystal scoops before, basically there's this giant bin of crystals and plastic beads and you buy the crystals by scoop and then the seller will scoop you the crystals and whichever ones you get, you get. So the company that I ordered from had a buy one get one free deal, but apparently I found out that they always have a buy one get one free deal. But for $40, I got two scoops of crystals. Um, it took, from when I placed the order to when they actually scooped it on the live stream, it took about an hour and a half to two hours. And it took two weeks for it to be delivered to my house. So here's the video of my scoop and the shop name that I ordered from will be at the top. And one. Lucky scoop. And two. Oh my gosh. Every piece is so beautiful. You will be up at, okay, no problem. So to give you the lowdown, I got three obsidian moons, um, another moon that was yellowish, a sphere, a tower, two green adventuring hearts, um, a rose quartz heart, a clover, and some sort of leaf. I think it was strawberry quartz. And so now here they are. I took off the table already because there was so much, but um, they're packaged in these little bubble wraps. Let's see how many there are. So there's five, and I got about... I think 12 crystals in the scoop so um there should be a couple in each of these I've seen some of them on other videos that I've watched just come in one giant wad of bubble wrap and they just like roll them all up which is a little bit less safe I feel like this is more safe okay so here they all are and I'm gonna open them one at a time let's see let's start with let's start with this one um I'm guessing that this is the sphere because of its shape Yes, it is the sphere. Um, so the other problem that I have with this company is that they don't um, tell you what they are in the live stream, but I can tell that this is just like a low grade carnelian. Okay, on to my next little batch over here. Um, okay, so this is the, this one's a little bit more precariously wrapped. So this is the yellowish moon. Um, it looks like it is a lower grade jasper bumblebee jasper um they're not this translucent usually though so it kind of leads me to believe that it might not be but it could just be a low grade form of it um and then we have the green adventuring heart which does definitely look real it does look like real green adventuring um green adventuring quality is usually a bit harder to tell but it does look like uh, real so okay so we have three out of 11 that they scooped so far this one's gonna take me a sec okay so this is the oops this is the strawberry quartz leaf that I got strawberry quartz is actually just strawberry adventuring um some group of scientists did a study on it and found out that it's actually a type of adventuring so um yeah this one's really pretty Strawberry quartz is generally very popular right now, so it's a good crystal to have. Um, and then this is the smaller green adventuring heart. You can kind of tell by looking at it that these are definitely different quality levels. So everything that I opened, I just have laid out here. We got five out of 11 so far. So let's see what's in this next one. Actually, let's go with, let's open the big one. I did pull this tape off already, so that's why it's a little bit looser, but I didn't open it yet. Okay, so we have one of the the black moons. We got the clover. And I think this is the tower. Yeah. And the tower. Okay. Wow. So oh, some of the some of the little plastic beads from the thing are stuck in here. Let's see if I can get them out. I got one out. That's a later project. But um this looks like flower agate. They do put a little thing on the tip to preserve it. So yeah, this looks like flower agate, a little juicy there. It's definitely not high quality, um, but it definitely is real. I think that that's pretty clear. Next, so this clover, I also am not sure what this is. It looks like it's some type of agate. There's also little things stuck in the little grooves, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I'll have to get those out later, but yeah. 
I'll look into what this is in the meantime also. And then this I thought was maybe obsidian, but now that I'm holding it up to the light, I don't know how much you can see, but it is definitely um, a little bit more clear than that. I'll try to get a bit better angle of this later. Um, there are some bands in it, which makes me a little bit suspicious because they are very straight and parallel. Um, so that could be fake. In this last one, we should have the Rose Quartz Heart um, and two more of the moons. So let's see. One's taped really well. Okay, definitely see the Rose Quartz Heart. Yeah, that is a nice big piece. Look at that. That's pretty beautiful too. Definitely um, pretty good quality, like from what I can tell. It's pretty dark and pink and gemmy. Um, a little white patches, some of this yellow patches, which lowers the quality a bit. But yeah, still like a really nice piece. Um, you can see by the shape of it that it's a much nicer piece than the Green Adventuring. Um, it's a little bit more rounded, less harsh lines. It's much, much heavier. Um, so much better quality there. And then we do have both of the moons in here. Um, once, same thing as the other one. There's some suspicious banding in it. Um, looks more like it could be a smoky quartz than an obsidian. I'll get a better lighting for all of these. But um, this one's a little bit smaller than the other two. But yeah, so that that's everything that we got. So that's good. Everything was there. So first I want to talk about the carnelian sphere. Um, it's definitely real, it's definitely carnelian, but it's just very, very low quality. Um, here's a piece of carnelian that I have that is high quality. Um, I bought this one for $13, so this one being smaller and lower quality, I would say maybe could sell for 5 but yeah. So next up we have this flower agate tower. It's definitely a good size piece, it's real. Um, and flower agate's pretty popular right now, but um, it's got this big druzy. Usually you want a druzy, but this one is just really, really ugly looking. Um, it also makes the shape a little bit weird and slanted, which could be cool, but I don't know. Um, here is a higher quality piece of flower agate that I have, and you can see those plumes and how they are much bigger and prettier in this piece. Um, this piece was $8 when I bought it, so I would value this one with the lower quality at around $10. So next up we have this moon. Um, I am 99% sure that this is just totally fake. I thought that maybe it could be Bumblebee Jasper, but it's too translucent. And if you really look at the coloring, it looks like paint was just poured into resin or something. I did the burn test. It didn't melt at all, but it did give off a very strange odor. Um, so yeah, this I'm 99% sure is just totally fake, value zero dollars. On a better note though, this strawberry quartz or strawberry aventurine uh, carving is just really gorgeous. I think it's totally real. Here's another piece of strawberry quartz that I have. Um, this one is just a little bit higher quality, but this one is still super glittery. And um, I would say that it would probably cost eight bucks. So next we have this clover and I got very up close and personal with this clover trying to pick out all the little rocks that got stuck in it. Um, I think that this is crazy lace agate. It definitely is some sort of agate because of the banding. Um, it's pretty low quality if it is crazy lace agate because um, it does not have any of the gorgeous colors that are in crazy lace agate. So um, also it's pretty small, it's hard to tell, but it's pretty tiny. Um, I would probably value this at $4. So now the luck of my poll was definitely this Rose Quartz Heart. Um, it is a good size if you compare it to my, I have big hands, but it's a good size. Um, it does have a couple of little things that would make it lower quality, like this yellow spot. Um, there's some white spots on it, but um, the shape is great. It is definitely real. Um, and it's pretty juicy. So I would say that you could probably get this piece for on the market, maybe $13 to $15. So now to the green adventuring. <sighs> what to say about this? I think that there is a good chance that these are fake, but there's just no way for me to tell. Um, there's just, they're a little bit off in the weight, in the texture. The cut of this is kind of alarming to me. 
Um, and the reason for that is I believe that these could be glass, which is often how green aventurine is faked. Glass is often easier to cut like this, which is why they're shaped the way that they are. Um, the coloring is just kind of off. If you look at this one especially, it's very dark. This is a piece of real green aventurine. Um, it's, there's something a little bit off about it. You also don't often see such strong banding in green aventurine like these have. So um, let's pretend that they're not faked and they're just low quality. Um, this one I would say with its size could probably go for about $5 and this one maybe for $3. So lastly, we have the three black moons. Um, I'm just gonna show you it up to the light. So yeah, all three of them have that perfect symmetrical banding in them, which is just a huge indicator that they are not real. Um, I thought maybe they could be obsidian, but now looking at them in person, they're definitely supposed to be smoky quartz, but no crystal. Smoky quartz already doesn't have banding usually, and then to have such perfect banding like that, there's just no way that these are real, um, all three of them. So zero dollars for those two. So we'll include the green inventory in case they are real, but if you were to buy all of these pieces at a shop, I would estimate that it would cost you about $50. So my takeaway from this experience is no, you are not getting scammed. Um, I spent $40 on crystals. I got crystals that I estimated would have cost $50 if I bought them in a shop, but I didn't get to select which ones I wanted. So if you're the type of person who likes that randomness, then this might be for you. Also keep in mind though that some of these places I've heard I have not seen um, don't treat their employees very nicely. So, you know, you want to consider what you are contributing your business to and what your money is going to support. But that being said, um, also don't get too googly eyed at the quantity that you're getting because I estimate that six out of the 11 of these are fake. And about three out of 11 of them are low quality. I only got two pieces that for what they are, I would say are really good quality crystals. Um, so yeah, I think it's not for everybody, but I think that it's a fun thing. And um, I don't think that it's a scam. So as I mentioned, I'll be doing a crystal giveaway and I'll be giving away some of the real pieces that I just opened in this order. So all you have to do to enter is to follow me on TikTok. The reason I'm doing this is that so I can get to a thousand followers and start doing live streams. So the only thing that you have to do in order to be entered in the giveaway is to follow me on TikTok. And then once I hit a thousand followers, I'll pick three people who have liked some of my content and who follow me to receive these free crystals and I will cover shipping and everything. So if you're interested in that, please follow me on TikTok at Inside the Lava Lamp. Also, my Etsy crystal shop will be launching in just a few weeks. I will be posting unboxing videos of my inventory, lots of crystal content, and all of the goodies. So make sure that you subscribe to me on YouTube and you follow me on my TikTok and Instagram at Inside the Lava Lamp. And check out my Etsy shop. Thank you.